There's the signal. They're ready. And racing as well. Double Bubble was clearly the first of them away. Into stride well is Tawny. Peter Kiko came out quickly. Right behind them, the former Victorian Bad Wolf is going to be prominent settling down. Just in front of the stablemates, Parisa and then Recharger. Behind those, Sherpa Lass. Miss Frost going up about midfield. One short stranded deep. Over on the inside, Denim Pack getting back. Star Glitter prevailing winds being followed by Lido Beach, who's next to last coming down the side. And back with it is Trilly Philly. They go past the 650. Pateman was able to give Tawny Pete more rain and cruise to the lead. It's Tawny Pete by a length now on a Kiko and double bubble down on the rail. Bad Wolf is back there running fourth, coming into the home straight. Back on the inside, Parisa Sherpa Lass being ridden along. To the outside, Miss Frost is starting to work into it for Pike, but Tawny Pete leads at the 300, a length and a half to double bubble. Now Miss Frost is starting to close the margin down. Pateman makes his move. Tawny Pete responds. Tawny Pete in front with 100 to go. Miss Frost on the outside. She's trying to get level. Tawny Pete fighting from Miss Frost. Miss Frost comes at Tawny Pete. They went to the line. Give it to Tawny Pete, I thought. I thought Tawny Pete from Miss Frost, but it's very close. Miss Frost or Tawny Pete. Hold on to your tickets. Then behind them came Double Bubble Sherpa Lass close up in company with Parisa. Lido Beach, Akiko, Denim Pack, Recharger, followed by Bad Wolf, Trilly Philly, Star Glitter. One short and prevailing wins whip them all in thought Tawny Peter just held on Mitch Pateman over Miss Frost number 15 ridden by William Pike and four double bubble waiting for the placings here after the running of the Glenroy Chaff photo result Tawny Pete big fellow hard to get past Pike doing his absolute utmost to get Miss Frost over the top of Big Tawny Pete. It looks as though the South West train gelding, they may have just held on by the skinniest of margins over Miss Frost, Double Bubble, Lido Beach, back in fourth place. 3.15, 4 and 8. The placings, number three, Tawny Pete. On a freshen up for trainer Paul Roberts, the passenger gelding from Bianco Magic, makes it win five from 11. He's got quite a record and uh, wins here on returning for his first run since early March. Went to the paddock a winner and he's come back in the same vein. Written by Mitchell Pateman, he was able to go to the lead heading off double bubble uh, soon after they'd settled down and once he's there and he just seems to roll along and goes at the one bat and missed Frost. Well, her run was timed uh, pretty well, although she's only got a short, sharp turn of foot and uh, might have come right to the absolute end of it near the finish. Has still got, though, within a short half head of Tawny Pete, who clings on desperately. For T Morgan, T Fleming, W Hall and uh, Madame's Hoff and Jackson Wellington, as well as uh, Jetson, Costello, Crispin and Nielsen. Half a length, second and third. 15, Miss Frost second by Frost Giant from Mega Me, Luke Fernie, William Pike. And third double bubble by unencumbered from La... Vicom Tessa, Simon Miller and Sean McGruddy. One twelve six five here they've run and thirty five three three in the last six hundred there. Tawny Pete's victory his fifth. Race six. Coming up today, the Byron Bay Premium Lager handicap over sixteen hundred at three ten for Lawfee six fire sale. Uh, the scratchings as we head back down to Brittany Taylor joining us in the winner's circle and he's building up quite a good uh, record too. He's a, a big common looking galloper but he's got plenty of tenacity. And uh, the exciting thing for Paul Roberts is that when interviewed yesterday you said that you told man your other runner is the best of the two and already he's saluted so hopefully the sign of things to come. You did say Paul that if the real Tawny Pete turned up then he would be a massive chance and was that the real Tawny Pete? Pete, he's, uh, he's a very serious, he's a serious horse, and uh, to see him to see him uh, win like that first up after a couple of months is, you know, he, he does the work at home, and uh, he's been uh, been going really well, and uh, you know, just to bring it here today and, and see him put it here against this class of horse, because Miss Frost's a very very good horse, and uh, you know, on his day he is too, and, and it was really good to get a reward. Races best off that spaced sort of run. You have identified that a six-year-old having just his 11th career start. What have the issues been with him? 
Um, well, he's been a bleeder. Um, there's no secret to that. He, he bled early days and uh, after he won in Bunbury last time, he pulled up with a deep-seated uh, hoof abscess or hoof bruise and uh, it took nearly three weeks for it to come out and, uh, you know, he just sort of finds a way for something to go wrong, this horse. And uh, anyway, we, when, they're, when they're as good as him, you persevere and carry on and, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's done the right thing today. Rewarding you now. How confident were you in the run? Uh, very confident. In the run, I thought um, when he, once he got to the front and coming to the turn, he was travelling really well. But uh, the last 50 metres, when you got Miss Frost and William Pike and Fernie's coming at you, you uh, yeah, you've got to start worrying. <laughs> I know, and it was very close in the in the finish, but Lucky able to put his uh, nose out on the line. In the next toll man, can you go back to back here with the victories? Oh, geez, I hope so. <laughs> It'd be, be wonderful. Um, but anyway, we'll. Uh, We'll uh, take this one for the moment and then work on the next one in a moment. Well, congratulations and hopefully we're talking again very soon. Geez, I hope so. Thanks, Britt. <laughs> Paul Roberts winning.